Well, the, the day actually started pretty nicely. I didn't really know what to expect when I left the house, but it actually turned out quite nice. My plan was to see what I could see around sunrise and then keep going further east. But I dawdled. So by the time the sun was fully up, I was barely 20 kilometers past the city limits. And you know what? It still looked pretty good. So I decided that maybe I would wait for another day to go further east and just see what I could see close by. Down in the river valley, I found these mule deer and because I'd been out this way a couple days before, I knew there were pelicans around too. The light was soft and creamy from a little bit of overcast, and a small bit of breeze was starting to come up. Even though it wasn't particularly warm, it at least looked like it. There are nice new leaves popping out everywhere. And their bright new greens complemented the grass that this gopher was nibbling on. But as soon as I came back out of the river valley, I hit wind. It was coming out of the northwest and within half an hour, it was really blasting. These poor yellow-headed blackbirds could barely hang on to sing their morning songs. But it was coming in waves. The first gust brought snow and then it backed off. These tree swallows were catching bugs in just a light breeze. But then the wind picked up and the snow came back. And then it quit and then it started again. These Franklin skulls were picking bugs off a slough one moment, the next, a blizzard. Sunrise, great. Mid-morning, okay. Noon, nasty. By one o'clock, a blizzard. Elation, frustration, elation, frustration. After a while, it gets kind of tiring. Most days, I can just keep on going. But some days, like this one, I've just got to throw in the towel and head on home.